Hey and welcome back to Vita vs 3DS. I apologize for the lateness of this video, but uh, it was absolutely gorgeous outside this entire week, this first week of summer, so I spent the whole week outside pretty much. But uh, I'm back now anyway, so we're, even though it's a week late, we're going to look at the uh, YouTube functionality with regards to the PlayStation Vita. And this is going to be a video response, of course, to my browser video, which I showed off the fact that uh, Vita doesn't have Flash or, or neither does 3DS. But anyway, um, so there's two ways we could watch YouTube videos on the PlayStation Vita. The one of the ways is downloading, which everyone is using before, was is downloading the downloading videos onto your PlayStation Vita via the browser and uh, watching them like that. And of course, the newly acquired YouTube application. So we're gonna look at this one first. I'm just gonna walk you guys through it and and uh, and show it off here. It's only five megabytes this entire app, so it's absolutely great for that. So overall, I must say this is an amazing app. Everyone has to go get it. Again, it's only five megabytes. It's uh, it's uh, it's really good. I'm I'm really enjoying it. So um, this is your recommended. When, right when you boot it up, it goes to your recommended uh, page. This, these are just your your basically your subscriptions. So uh, all your subscriptions, all the new videos are going to be pushed to the top here, and it's pretty much you know once you boot up your YouTube app, this is what you want to see anyway. So that's great. The next button over here, this is for searching. So of course you just type in what you want to search, and it'll and it'll search it for you. And it's nice. It's a nice clean interface and everything. Um, also, as you're searching, it keeps your previous searches the the words there for you. So if you just want to tap that search again, if you want to search the same thing, then you can. And that works just fine. So we're going to get this. The next button over here is your history. So everything that you've watched. And the next button over here is your favorite. So everything that you've favorited um, is going to go here in, like, in, in, in correct order. So over here you can have you know your d delete and settings for each and every one. So what I'm going to do here is just going to show you guys. I'm going to boot up Up at Noon from IGN's Start page. So right away it goes to the HD option since I have it like that. And of course this is the 720p version of, um, of the video. But uh, it only displays at Vita's native resolution which is 544p. Which is fine. I mean it looks amazing on the 5 inch screen. So, uh, of course, it starts off on full screen and nice and sharp and everything, but you do, all you have to do is pinch the screen here, and it goes back down to like a more normalish kind of YouTube uh, view with your uh, suggested videos on the right side, thumbs up, thumbs down, full screen option. To make it bigger again, you just pinch it outwards again. Uh, so the suggested videos here, they work great. Touchscreen's really, really responsive as opposed to Netflix on Vita, which is a little less responsive. Um, Comments are here, uh, so all the newest comments are on top. You can scroll down; it loads more as you go down, which is great. Um, a little disappointment here because while well, you, you just have to push this button over here, and then you could respond on your own, but you can't reply to people. There's no reply button, so it's a little disappointing. And you have your information here, which is you know tells you the likes, dislikes, and you know their their information they have there, which is just great. Um, so overall, I mean, it's super smooth, and as you could see here, it looks great. It looks really, really good on the Vita screen. It looks, uh, you know, 544p uh, resolution on a 5-inch screen just looks stunning. And especially with the OLED, it really brings out the, the great colors. And I find it just looks really good. You could downscale the quality here by just tapping that button. And then it'll go to what I think is 480p, which doesn't look that bad at all. I mean, on a 5-inch screen, again, it looks perfectly fine. It looks, looks really good. Um, it'll be, you'll be hard-pressed to tell the difference here in this video anyway. But uh, but yeah, I mean overall, uh, the the only downside I could see to this app is that it doesn't for creators like myself and many of you guys, uh, it doesn't let you get into the analytics or or your 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 uh, inbox or anything that you'd need as a creator or as a heavy YouTube user. You still have to go to the the main site on in the Vita's browser to do that, which you can't watch the videos on, unfortunately. Um, but overall, I mean, it gets the job done. It is what it is, and. It's really, it's a really, really good app. I'm really impressed with it, and uh, and yeah, it's five megabytes, and it's free, so go download it. So that's that for this app. But of course, as we know, there's another way to watch YouTube videos on PlayStation Vita, and that's through downloading them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the browser. 
I'm just going to quickly, quickly show you guys how to do that. Of course, YouTube can't run. YouTube is like a game. It can't run at the same time as um, most other apps. So what I did was I bookmarked that same video here. So of course, as anybody who has tried to load a YouTube video on Vita's browser knows, is that um, it won't let you. It doesn't have the right player. But of course, there's a workaround. So first, you're going to head to this link right there. And then after that, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to press and hold the PS Vita tube downloader button down, and then it's going to press, and then press the open button. It's not going to do anything right away, but then after that, add the page to your favorites and rename it whatever you want. And then you're done. That's all you have to do. And so after that, open up your favorites. I named mine Vita uh, YouTube. So I just press that and boom, it gives you the option right here to download it either in 720p or 480p. So the 720p version is 307 megabytes. The 480p version of this one is 81 megabytes. So I've already downloaded this video for the sake of the length of this video. So I'm just going to open it right now just to show it off quickly. There we go. And here we go. So it's this is the uh, 720p version, which of course is only displaying 544p on the Vita, which again still looks amazing. Um, and it's the exact same quality as in the, the YouTube app. So if you ever wanted to download a video, you know, you could just do it this way. Or if you wanted to just stream it easily, you can do it the other way. But really, you have lots of options with regards to Vita and watching YouTube videos. And uh, I find it's just great because when it launched, you didn't have any options. And now you can either download them or you can stream them or, you know, you do what you want. And I find it's just really great. It's really awesome. So anyway, uh, that took away one of my major complaints with the Vita's browser. And uh, now that we have a YouTube option, um, of course, it's not perfect. I wish it did stream it in the browser itself and uh, the main reason for this is because let's say if I'm looking through my Twitter feed and I see a video someone posted it on my Twitter feed on my Vita I press the link it tries to open it in the browser and of course it can't play it in the browser which is kind of a pain in the ass so I wish it you know there's still some kinks to work out I wish it launched the YouTube app for those situations but you know I have faith in Sony and maybe they'll get on that and fix it but uh, anyway right now this is the best we got and I think it's pretty awesome so uh, yeah anyway that's it uh, everyone go download the YouTube app. I think it's awesome. It's free. It's five megabytes. It'll take five seconds to download. So get on it, guys. Anyway, thanks. Bye.